The fall season of the Mary B. Martin School of the Arts is winding down, but take heart, there is one more great performance on the schedule. And this morning, Anita DeAngelis joins us to preview the Garden of Love, Songs of William Blake. Anita, welcome back. I haven't talked you. to you in a while. I know, it has been a while. I've, so. I've missed you. <laughs> well, I see you on TV. So. <laughs> Well, let's talk about this. This is uh, Martha Redbone is going yes. to be performing for this. Tell us about Martha. So we're, we're super excited to have Martha Redbone coming here. She currently lives in New York, but she grew up in Harlan County, Kentucky. And she is, um, the, the music that she sings in this particular concert is very much rooted in our mountains and our hills. But she is of African-American Choctaw Cherokee um, descent. So it's just this collision of cultures that are coming together in this one concert. So we're super excited about it. And she grew up around the coal mining industry and she has yes. some influences from that as well. So it's yes. just, uh, her entire culture goes into her performance. Yes, and, and it's so interesting that this particular concert is based upon an album that's called The Garden of Love, Love Songs of William Blake. Um, so William Blake was a 17th, 18th century poet and artist, um, printmaker. I know his artwork because right. I'm an artist. So, so um, she set his poems to the sounds of Appalachia. Um, so the, the lyrics come from him, the music comes from her, and it's just a really interesting mix. When so. did you, how did, how did you connect? How did the Mary B. Martin and, and she connect to be able to bring her? Right, so I, I have a love of the music that comes from this part of the country, right. and I'm a big fan of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, and it turns out that the producer of this particular album mm -hmm. is John McEwen. So, you know, I follow John McEwen quite a bit and what right. kind of projects he's working on. So, you know, I, I learned about it originally from there, and then, of course, through some of the other networks. Um, but because the music is so tied to this area, and part of our mission is to you know, celebrate the right. culture of this area, we were very much interested. Um, plus our old time, one of our old time bands from ETSU, mm -hmm. the Old Time Ramblers, yes. will be opening the, the show. So it's a good connection to our curriculum as well. So yeah. getting the students involved on the on this side of things as well. Yeah, so. absolutely. But you want we like you, to do that. Yeah. Tell us about when this is going to happen. Tell us where it's going to be in all. Sure. So it'll be on Thursday, November 30th in the Culp Auditorium. And, um, you know, tickets are still available right. and we hope people will come out for it. And you got, and just real quickly, you've got some great things. So this is the last one for the fall. We're going to get past Christmas and all that in the spring. And you've got some great stuff lined got, up for the spring. Of course we do. We, we have um, Mayhem Poets are coming, uh, Third Coast Percussion, the Swingles. Um, swingles. The Swingles are from London, but one of our ETSU alumni performs with them. Very good. So again, we, we really like to celebrate things that come from right in our region as um, well. Anita DeAngelis, thank you so much. Thank you. It is the Mary B. Martin School of the Arts at the Garden of Love, Thursday, November 30th, 7.30 p.m. at the Culp Auditorium. Check out that website right there for more information.